This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, March 25th, through this coming Sunday, March 31st, 2024. We are always given exactly what we need for our growth, happiness, and best life. We may not realize it at the time, and it seems confusing when we're dealing with things that may seem uncomfortable, unhappy, or negative. Those lower energy feelings are on purpose <laughs> to get us to change, to move on, to make different decisions. But as the humans we are, we can be so very stubborn and resistant to change because we don't trust a future we can't see count on and even manipulate if we're being prodded to create change in our life it's on purpose it's because we have outgrown something or we're ready for a new set of challenges that will lead us to a much better place. Nothing is random and we're nudged, prodded, cajoled, given downloads, epiphanies, and aha moments, all to get us to realize there's so much more available to us for our happiness. But we often, we lapse into resisting and then the energy shuts down and we start seeking answers and understanding. And this can become a closed loop of not advancing. Instead, what if we were more inquisitive, more curious, more adventurous? What if we trusted there was a plan for us, a divine, magical plan that would never waste our time or make us unhappy. What if we eagerly looked forward to agreeing to change because we knew it would be exactly what we need to move forward in a better life? What if we can take a deep breath and say, everything is all right. Everything is getting better. Change is wonderful and expansive and exactly what I need right now. What if we agreed to let go of anything in our life that wasn't a good thing for us? What if we agreed to move, to release, to walk away from, and to hit the reset button on anything that is right for change for the better in our lives. Imagine, yes, imagine the refreshing, lighthearted, clear-headed, fresh new energy and opportunities and people and ideas that can be born from such radical, loving change. This is a wonderful, high vibrational new beginning for you, and you are ready. Yes, and if you need information for you, for your life, specifically for you, the human energy being light and love being that you are, have a reading. We will connect to all that energy and activate that energy and all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. I can't wait to connect with you. And here we are, nine cards for the energy of this week. Nine cards. And this week we have Rose Quartz and Moss Agate. Lovely gentle energy crystals to help you to feel this energy in your heart. 
so it benefits you in the best possible ways. <laughs> Look at these cards. Oh, talk about alignment. We're going to talk to you about how to get aligned here. All right, we're starting with the Queen of Pentacles. She's your earthy queen of your material world, of your health, of your wealth, of the quality of your life. She's giving you solutions to fix things and to get yourself into better alignment with the life you really, really want to be enjoying. So yes, she fits perfectly with the message because she's going to show you how to allow positive change in your life. Positive change because it's going to better align you to that quality of life, to that better health, to that greater wealth, and it's all available for you. This is going to give you an emotional beginning. It's going to help you understand your spiritual path. It's going to help you activate your creativity and especially going to help you in your relationships in finding the love, being guided by love and allowing the emotional balance of really good relationships. And then we have the lovely temperance. Oh, I love this card. It has such a deep and rich, wonderful myriad of meanings, beginning with magic, allow the magic, allow the spiritual alignment, allow the balance, allow people to help you. You're not alone. And yes, you're on your path. Even when you feel alone or lost or confused, you're right in the middle of your life path and everything is okay. You are surrounded by goodness. So pay attention to what matters to you and what you're passionate about. This is going to activate the magic that's going to allow you the best and greatest happiness. So start practicing. Yeah, start practicing who you wish to become. Start practicing how you want that outcome to be. Build the team that's going to give you your desired outcome and practice the ways of being and doing and having that also match who you wish to become. And the center card, the emperor this week is telling you to act on things. Yes, it's nice to plan and to think and to analyze. And that's, analyzing is not nice, but it's a fact for many people, but we can get lost. They call it the paralysis of analysis. <laughs> and that is something the emperor hates more than anything because the emperor wants to make action. They want to do something and create something and enjoy something and see some results. So that's important for you as well. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. The card of the paralysis of analysis. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's just going to seize everything up and bring it to a screeching halt. So pay attention to your thoughts. Don't get lost in your thoughts and don't be impulsive. Don't rush in where you don't have enough information. Don't just agree to something out of frustration. Instead, do your homework, do your research, get all the background knowledge you need so you can make wise decisions. And don't hold back. Don't hold back share your ideas, allow people to help you. Don't worry about what they're going to think about you. Don't feel that people are judging you. That's all just going to waste your time. Instead, honor what matters to you and move forward with it. Because this, these, these things by changing, by practicing and acting and not analyzing and not rushing in and not holding back, you're going to create personal strength and personal confidence and personal success. You're going to realize any challenges are there to make you stronger and wiser and just allow you your amazing alignment. 
So you're not going to be given anything you can't handle. Go back to the energy of temperance and the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles for that alignment for this week. It's a very powerful week. It's a very powerful time for us. And we're getting messages here in this video and all the videos that I've been doing of how to do subtle personal change to make your life better, to give you the alignment and the higher vibrational alignment that you have been seeking. So listen to the message, <laughs> apply it to your life, have a reading if you would like more information for you specifically, and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.